It's either them or you. It's sort of like survival, you know? Survival of the fittest, you know? You do what you do to stay alive. about going on tour A together because I know this is something you've talked about in the past and now it's actually happening and B knowing that this time it's your tour. Be on tour with the people you grew up with, like people you love making music with, it's like it's perfect because we all grew up in the same neighborhood flat. Or just moving up together in one in one um in one ever. Perfect. Yeah. The Beast Coast tour is just like it's a it's like solidifying, like you know, this 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 whole Beast Coast movement we have. Like, this is like really the official stamp on what the Beast Coast really is, and like how we plan on impacting the game. And like, um, it's a perfect single because like 2013, and just like you know, it's just, it's a new beginning for hip hop. Plus, we travel and shit. It's like like history, imperialist shit. Like we're going to other places and take it. Like, like we all from the same neighborhood, really. Yeah, it's, it's synchro. And we all going around these places and just like to take over. You know? And I quote, we came like them niggas in boats, still think it's a joke. Your third eye vision is broke. We lifted from smoke and floating. That's how I got my aura open. Check the horoscopes though. You can say I'm horoscoping. You catch me floating on a four leaf clover, that's the pot of gold. So we sunning them like Maury Povich. We gon' need paternity tests, I guess. Cause the vets ain't learning it step by step. It's Beast Coast, we the murderous set. We rain the fire, and I don't mean to burn us in text. You gotta love it. All 47 of us, you ain't got a number, then I guess we gotta get you covered. People like Big Crit and Small Pool have more experience and have been in the industry a little longer than you. What's working with them like? Is there any advice or guidance that y'all have received that? Well, just like, you know, being on the Smokers Club tour in the summer, it was just like, you know, watching Smoke perform, watching Trouble perform, watching Juicy perform. It was like, you know, we took mental notes of like, you know, how to, how, like, like how to rock the show, how to captivate the crowd, and like, you know, things like that. And just, um, it's really amazing. Like, that tour was like performance camp. <laughs> like, smoke, smoke school with a little bit. Yeah, smoke school and shit. <laughs> what would um, you say is the most valuable piece of information that Smoke ever gave you? Uh, so, like, we, we, the crowd is here for us. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't be caught up in your whole performance and your whole, like, in your mind. Like, know that people came to see you and you gotta give them a big show and, like, they had to support you regardless, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, and whatever you're doing, just know that people are there to see you. Suspect niggas don't come outside. You might get your way pushed back tonight. I, I deserve my respect. Brains don't matter if your wig gets split on some third eye shit. Do you have any word on a, a debut joint coming from here? Yeah, 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 definitely I'm um, a debut joint coming. I'm almost done. Craig working on this shit too. Um, I'm working on my shit. My shit might be done. I'm gonna fuck around and do some pro shit again too. You've recently released a echo session with Pete Rock, right? Uh -huh. What was that like working with him? Uh, well, besides the fact that we kind of look alike and shit, <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty, it was pretty dope. Um, no, he's a fucking legend, one of my favorite producers, and it's just like, it's like a dream come true. Like, yo, life is really a dream. You've been working a lot with Echo closely lately. Yeah, um, we in the Echo office right we're now. We're actually kicking it at the Mark Echo offices right now. Y'all got a couple swanky pieces on, I see. <laughs> so what has been your role over here at the Echo offices? Well, I'm the creative director over here. So they basically bring me the pieces, and they're like, yo, Master Joey. What do you think about this? Just season? like that. Just like that. Okay. I told him to dress me as Master Joey. Same way Fresh Prince told him Master William. Master Joey, because I am the Fresh Prince up over here. Like, you know, they, they showed me a couple pieces. I'm like, nutch, nutch, nutch. Sumsh, sumsh. So you tell them what's hot and what's not? Yeah, I sumsh this. That's a sumsh. Yeah, I definitely sumsh this. I was like, yeah, that can rock. I was like, this can rock. Feel me, sumsh. I was like, you know, sumsh. So anything you see us in is a sumsh, you know? Just know Joey gave the go-to on that. 
Cause I am the dumb. Back on for our clothing line, what can we expect with the an estimated release for any of that? I want some Pro Era Echo Sunshines. Roughly, roughly fall time. If not fall, it's gonna sink up perfectly in the winter. Got my first headline show at NYC on um, March 6th, public assembly. Okay. Tickets are on sale now. That show's gonna be crazy. Bananas, Dama Dozen Words with a few other cats. It's gonna be dope.